It's the Harley Davidson club style going out of fashion. Catch you inside. Revelator L. Hello, welcome to Revelator Alpha. Hope you enjoy the channel and the series of videos. Please like, share, subscribe, leave those comments below. Check out the website revelatoralf.com and the links in the description below. So, in this video, I'm going to be talking about the Harley Davidson club bike or club style. Well, first of all, what is it? Well, the club style came about a few years ago from riders who were looking, uh, I suppose, uh, to move away from the cruiser and chrome uh, look of the Harleys and go for a bit more of a performance edge uh, aspect and a bit of a, uh, a hard edge uh, to the riding as well. They started to use higher bars with fairings, uh, with uh, different suspension setups and performance upgrades as well. So you'd have harder accelerating, faster accelerating bikes, uh, better handling, uh, but also had a bit of a more of a street look to them as well. Obviously, there are variations on the theme of the club style, if you like, in inverted commas. Um, but you can go from the, the colourful look, you can go still have the chrome look, but you could also go for more the blacked out look and the black casings, which has become very popular in recent years. Not only in customised bikes, but also in stock bikes that have been produced by Harley Davidson. Now, the key question here is, you know, whether the club style is really going to go out of fashion anytime soon. Uh, it doesn't look as if that's going to be the case, but there are more variations on the theme now, and perhaps one aspect of it is slightly changing. Um, the blacked out look from a lot of the bikes, that tends to be moving away from that now. That kind of old Sons of Anarchy uh, look has a little bit old hat now. There's a little more variation on that theme. A little bit more of uh, creativity, I suppose, that's coming out in uh, a lot of the bikes and a lot of the styles. However, there's no doubt that the club style is still uh, a big uh, look that a lot of people are going for. Is it something that will be here for a long time? Will it become the classic look? That's hard to say because you really got to look at classic looks from the past with the Harley Davidsons, whether it's flames, whether it's, you know, tall ape hangers, you know, that kind of thing. Um, it really depends, you know, are we going to go back to sort of soft tails with dual exhaust uh, or is it going to stick to the, the club style with a single exhaust on the, on the one side? The, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a lot to consider. It's a lot to debate. And there is no right or wrong answer. Now, a question came in over the emails uh, and the social media comments uh, a while ago asking me whether the uh, club start is here to stay uh, and if it's still in fashion, I suppose. That's a tough one to say again, but it's more, I think, that newer riders or riders now who are customizing their bikes are looking at a variation on the theme of club style or they're taking certain elements from a, a classic club style look and they're incorporating that into their bike whether it's high bars exhaust setup fairing setup that kind of thing i think now the more there's going to be a more of a crossover between the tourer and the soft tails and there's going to be some kind of middle ground there now interestingly the bike i ride with a sport glide Many people were asking when that bike came out, why didn't it come out with black casings as a lot of the other soft tails were, were coming out with? Uh, the Street Bob, the Fat Bob, that kind of thing. Now the Low Rider S. One of, one of the issues that any trend has is to say it has a certain life limit and then it becomes too normal and then people after a while want to change from that. For many years, we were all asking for blacked out engine casings uh, on the hardest, move away from the chrome look. It wasn't really fashionable. People were fed up of cleaning their chrome. They wanted blacked out casings and black bikes, basically. That came in. Harley uh, delivered. They listened and they delivered. They started bringing out black engine uh, variants. 
now it's getting to the point where possibly people are looking at that and think, well, actually now we want something a bit different. Maybe that's why Harley, when they produce the Sport Glide uh, as a stock bike, they produce it with the chrome uh, casings uh, or chrome covers, I should say, just so that it starts to move away from this total black bike look. They still offer that as an option, uh, as an optional extra, of course, but you know it is in a variation now we're seeing more and more colors coming out uh i'd say variations on the color the custom world obviously is still um moving uh, all the time in, in different directions and they pulse backwards and forwards you know uh with their particular trends i suppose the thing about any kind of fashion uh is this as soon as something is deemed fashionable, it's possibly out of fashion. Um, any up and coming trend, that's where the cutting edge, if you like, that's where, that's where it's all happening. Uh, but it hasn't really reached uh, the public eye or the, or the greater uh, Harley riding public as yet then whilst it, by the time it does get to that point, and possibly by the time it reaches Harley-Davidson as a manufacturer, and then they start uh, producing bikes that emulate a certain style, then it's already out of fashion. However, for the club style, you could say that it's right now, whilst there's still variations on the theme, it still is in fashion. It's almost in a classic look, a classic genre of style. But the likelihood is that we are going to see even more variation and possibly changes to that style as well. And then possibly a brand new style developing as well. A lot of this is also influenced heavily by popular culture, TV programs, movies, and also magazine features of old, but online social media as well, which is also having a, a, a big effect. So whilst we could be, you know, all trying to copy a certain style, the reality is now that more and more individuality is coming into styles. More and more people are expressing themselves, not only in the way they dress, but also uh, how they dress their bikes, if you will. And that is now becoming the cutting edge uh, aspect of uh, motorcycle customization for Harley Davidsons. We're going to see a lot more individuality, a lot more color combinations, a lot more design features, and a lot more home customizers um, starting to create their own little mini trends. Anyway, uh, it's a point of discussion, but let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, do you think the club style is dead or do you think it's uh, raging on? Uh, do you think that there are other styles that are coming through uh, and other styles that are getting influenced by other styles even further? And um, whether they will be the next generation or whether they'll actually just uh, not last uh, long at all. But anyway, let me know what you think in the comments. Please like, share, subscribe. Leave those comments today. Check out the website, rebelatoralf.com. And I'll catch you on the next video coming, well, very, very soon. Ta-da now. Revelator Al.